Hello everyone, my name is Avalaka Janet Oyelami. Today, I'm going to tell you the main reason why you are not getting what you want. The main reason why you're not getting what you really desire. Keep watching. Today, keyword says, if you have a child, and you are a single parent, be grateful for that child you have. If you have a spouse but no children yet, don't focus on what you don't have. Be grateful for that lovely spouse God gave you. If you have a spouse and children but don't have enough money, don't focus on the money issue. Focus on those beautiful lives around you. If you have a spouse, children, money, but don't have nice skin. Be grateful for those gifts of life and money around you. The more you are grateful for what you have, the more you get more of it. And even the one you don't have will be added. Every individual has desire. They have dreams they want to achieve. But why do some get their desire faster than others? Why do some get their dream achieved faster more than others? But before I go deep into today's topic, please, if you are new on this channel and you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Share this video with someone who will also subscribe and who will also share it with another friend who will subscribe so that we will be able to impact more life on this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Sometimes in life, each individual have a point in time where you bow your head and start to think why you are not getting what you desire. Why God is not answering you when you call on your name? Why are you not achieving your dream on time? Sometimes in life, we get to that point. But today, I'm going to tell you the fastest way, the best thing you can do to achieve your dream faster. And let me tell you this truth. The one reason why you are not getting what you desire on time. Do you want to hear the secret? And the secret is because you have omitted gratitude out of your mouth. Hold on. Don't off this video. You are wondering, gratitude? Is that why I'm not getting what I want to get in life? Is that why I'm not achieving my dreams? Gratitude is a thankful appreciation for what an individual receives, whether tangible or intangible. With gratitude, people acknowledge the goodness in their lives. Gratitude helps people feel more positive emotion release good experiences, improve their health, deal with adversity, and build strong relationship. Whenever you are in trouble, whenever you desperately need help, whenever you desperately need a solution to something, do you focus on this problem or do you apply gratitude? Let me tell you this secret. Most successful people that you see in the world achieving great dreams in life applied gratitude, adopted gratitude just to fast forward their dreams. Like I always do on this channel, I like to give an example to make people understand what 
I'm really talking about. When we look at the Israelites in the Bible, God delivered them through the hand of Moses from the Egyptians. And um, they crossed the Red Sea and went through the wilderness to get to their promised land. In the wilderness, they continued to complain. They complain about food. They complain about water. They complain about every single thing. When you complain, you remain where you are. Look at the Israelites. They complain about every single thing. They also forgot the miracle God did in their life when they were in Egypt. The miracle of the Red Sea. They forgot about that. They focus on their problem and complain. Momo, when they complain, they remain in the wilderness. They're supposed to spend 40 days to get to their promised land. They spent 40 years in the wilderness and they did not even get to the promised land. Only those people got choose got to the promised land. The Israelite complained, they remain. The moment you want God to solve an issue, the moment you need the intervention of God over a particular issue in your life, if you focus on that issue and bow your head in sorrow and bow your head in thinking, why me, why me? Let me tell you, you are complaining. And when you complain, like the Israelite, you remain where you are. Dear friends, are you adopting complaint over your life or you are adopting gratitude spirit, thankful spirit? Let me be real on this matter. When we are facing one trial or the other, when we desperately need the help of God, we are all human beings. We are bound to think and to cry for help and to even start to think negatively because we are all human beings. But immediately you find yourself in a particular situation whereby your mind is drawing you to start to think negatively, to start to cry to try to be sorrowful over that particular issue. Stop immediately. Change the thinking to gratitude. Let me give you a secret on how to apply gratitude even though you are facing one particular trial or the other. Even though you desperately need the help of God but it is not forthcoming because the time has not come. You know how you can apply gratitude immediately. First of all, once the burden of that issue is coming to your mind, making you to focus on negative thinking, making you to complain like the Israelite, stop at that moment and think about someone who you are better off. For example, let's say you want to have your own children, but it's not forthcoming because the time is not ripe. You know how you can apply gratitude. Think about someone who is of marriageable age and is yet to marry. Be grateful that God gave you the opportunity to get married. That gratitude alone, God will look at it and say, she's even grateful for being able to get married. I will give you a child. If you are yet to be married and you are ripe for marriage and you want to be thinking that why are you not getting married? God, why are you doing this to me? 
instead of complaining that way, remember that you have a complete body. Remember that you are beautiful. Remember someone that doesn't even have leg to walk. When you remember somebody like that, it will make you to be grateful. And when you are grateful for the body you have, for the life you have, then God will remember you and give you your heart desire. Also, if you have a job and the salary you are getting from that job is not enough to cater for your family. Remember someone who does not even have a job at all and cannot eat three meals in a day. When you remember someone like that, you will be grateful for the level you have. And when you are grateful for the little salary you are getting, then God will remember you and promote you at work. Don't just be grateful. Don't just say, okay, I've been hearing about gratitude long time ago. And I'm also hearing it on this channel today. And say, oh, let me just try it anyhow. No, please don't do that. When you are genuinely grateful for the level you have, God sees your heart, he will definitely remember you. Even if you're not getting what you want at this moment, if you are genuinely grateful, God will remember you. It's something that has happened to many successful people and it's something that I've experienced in life. When you are genuinely grateful, God will remember you. I love to share something that impacts me a lot. I watched children documentary some time ago and um, it's on BBC channel and they were showing a particular man with his son three years old. This TV program is trying to make the young children in UK to be grateful for whatever they had. So they went to Africa. They show a family of three, the man, the wife, and the, the child. The child is just three years old. And we notice in the movie that the man was trying to renovate his mud house. So he took the young child, three years old, put a small bowl on his head, and he also carried, carried a keg. They went to fetch the water and they walk about 30 minutes to get to the river to fetch the water. After fetching the water, the man put the small bucket of water on the three years old child. The man carried, the man carried his own keg and they walked back for another 30 minutes to get to their house. The wife was preparing the food for them. When the man and the child got to, they mixed the mud together, rebuilt the house, renovated the house, and they washed their hand and ate what the wife cooked for them. When I watch this story, they now come back to their children in the UK. Be grateful for that life you have. Remember, someone is in another country who has not gotten the opportunity you have. Do you want to achieve your dreams on time? You want God to answer you on time. This is how you can fast forward your dreams only by getting grateful for whatever you have. When you get grateful for whatever you have, genuinely. I know this God I serve will definitely remember you. It's difficult sometimes to say, Lord, I'm grateful for the highs I have. I'm grateful for the nose I have. I'm grateful for having a complete body. 
I'm grateful my body system is working. I'm grateful I can go to work. I'm grateful I have eyes. When you are genuinely grateful for those little, little things, you definitely touch God's heart. Let me tell you this secret. Most of the human being health issues are brought to human being all because they complain and never remember to be grateful for everything. If you are grateful genuinely, this God in heaven who created you will remember you. Dear friends, that is the major reason why you are not getting what you want on time. Because you complain. But when you adopt gratitude, try it. It will fast forward your dreams to come true. I hope this impacts you. I hope this encourage you to start to be a grateful person so that your dreams can be achieved on time. Stay blessed and I'll speak to you soon.